Good morning. Good morning. Let me stop. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Because it may not be morning when you listen. How are you doing? I hope things are well. Today we are going back to the beginning. We're going to be looking in the book of Genesis, looking at chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. Let's pray, Father in heaven. Thank you for another wonderful day. And thank you for your love. Please be with us as we go over these verses, dear Lord. Help them to have a meaningful impact in our lives. May your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. And so looking at Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 and 3, this also came from um, the devotion, my devotion that I did this morning. Um, And it was talking about rest. And so... I was led (laughs) to these two verses. It says here, And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested, excuse me, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. Because that in it, he had rested from all his work, which God created and made. And so today we're going to be talking about rest, rest. The devotion that I read um, was speaking about the fact that we, sometimes we were so busy doing what we're doing work. And listen, work, work is work. We can't let other people define what work is. So being a stay home mom or a stay home dad doesn't mean that we don't have a job, that we're not working. Because staying at home to deal with a child or children, it takes a lot. Oh, wow. Praise the Lord. Uh, Sorry. A red this red bird just flew up on the gate and it's flying in the backyard. It's so beautiful. Um, sorry about that. I just had to acknowledge the beauty that I see. It doesn't mean that because you're a stay home person that you're not working. And even if there's no children in the home, you are still working because to maintain the home, to maintain your environment, to plan what you're planning, that takes work. We have our physical work and there's also mental work, you know, because planning and so forth, it takes strain on the mind. Now, I do have to acknowledge that some people, they're not doing anything. You know, they're just lazy, like literally just sitting down watching TV for the purpose of entertainment. Um, So I do have to acknowledge that. Work, though. It becomes taxing. It taxes your mind. It taxes your body. And so we cannot just keep working, keep working, keep working and don't take time to rest. Because if we overwork our minds and overwork our bodies, our system, our body will start to shut down. We'll be more susceptible, susceptible, sorry. (laughs) It'll be easier for us to get sick, Um, and at least a a lot of other conditions. So we have to be mindful. And I'm sorry if, you know, me speaking in the sense of we have to. It's not me saying you must do it, you have to do it. That's just the way that I speak. Um, Because sometimes we say, oh, we should, but it's not really a should. This is something serious. And if we care about our health and our bodies and care about the health and bodies of other people, we should strongly encourage in a loving manner. So I hope I'm not sounding too, you know, too authoritative (laughs) Um, when I speak in that way. It's important, it really is important for us to rest. And going back to the verses, this is the first time I believe that the Bible is talking to us about the Sabbath rest. God created this world in six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. 
So everything that we, we see, land, water, animals, people, those things were done in the six days. And on the seventh day, he rested. Not rested because he was tired, though. He rested to show us that we are going to need a rest, you know. And so he gave us this Sabbath rest on the seventh day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That Saturday. Saturday is a day of rest. It's the Sabbath. And when we read in the Bible, Sabbath, because the day starts from sundown. So it's Friday at sunset to Saturday sunset. That's the Sabbath. And in that time, God wants us to rest from our usual work, our usual labor, and to just reflect on who he is, the power that he has, because it's because of who he is that we could trust and rest in him and be strengthened to then go through the new week. And I just want to share something with you from this book called Patriarchs and Prophets. And this is coming from page 48. It says, God saw that a Sabbath was essential for man, even in paradise. He needed to lay aside his own interests and pursuits for one day of the seven, that he might more fully contemplate the works of God and meditate upon his power and goodness. He needed a Sabbath to remind him more vividly of God and to awaken gratitude because all that he enjoyed and possessed came from the beneficent hand of the Creator. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your continuous love towards us. We thank you for keeping us safe. We thank you for our family, our friends, our loved ones. We thank you for the many blessings that you give us. We ask that you will cleanse our minds and our hearts, that you will forgive us of our sins, forgive us of the decisions that we make that go against your will. We ask that you will help us to study your word and to know more about you, to understand your love for us and your expectations. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will Give us your Holy Spirit so that he can indeed guide us into all truth, that he can comfort us and just be with us, dear Lord, because we need the presence of God in our lives. We ask that you will help us to truly rest from labor, rest from the stress of life, and help us to know more about your Sabbath day rest, to spend time reflecting on your love, on your power, on your blessings. Be with us, dear Lord. Be with those who are mourning. Be with those who are stressed. Be with those, dear Lord, that don't understand and don't know about your great love and the hope that we have. Guide us and keep us, we pray. Help us to be blessings to others, is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And so today, my encouragement for you with regards to getting the body moving is to just take a nice stroll outside if you can, and just reflect on the power of God. When you see the trees and the birds and, you know, even the flowers and just those nature, natural things. All right, take care. God bless.